we've heard the panic we've heard the heard all the terrible stories so it's time now for some logic for some expertise and a voice of calm and a voice of reason and uh, when we thought of logic calm reason and expertise we couldn't think of a better person than atul goel so uh, atul ji welcome to this quick interaction that we want to have with you uh, we want you to speak to our audience and uh, and address a very very uh, logical uh, issue and the issue is people are not buying homes right now or they are not some people are not making that decision to buy homes right now on the other hand atul ji keeps telling us that a lot of people are buying homes right now and it's time to set that narrative straight so we'll talk about both these things but first i want to talk to atul sir about why are people buying homes right now uh you know buying home is a very big financial decision dina and i have always said that uh, it is not buying a commodity but it is buying an asset for your lifetime so the challenge which people have always faced is always about their own contribution though you get home loan up to 80% 90% the challenge is own contribution and the best part financially what has happened with the buyer in last one year is that the percentage of saving has gone up because the percentage of expenditure on wasteful expenses which they should go out buy clothes have gone down so their savings must have gone up by more than 20 25% that's more a, that's a huge number now let's i'm going to stop you here for just a moment because uh, i i want all of us to spend a little time on this thought he's right a uh, global average of people uh, who are considered middle class upper middle class global average of what we consider lifestyle expenses monthly is about 30% should be maybe more maybe more yeah and uh, if we are going to look at the way that we've lived our lives in the past uh, year a little more than that we've not spent that much yes for last one year we have not spent more than 5 10% i feel and you have saved almost 15 to 20% more than what you were saving previously so the effect of that is that your own contribution or the savings have gone up the rate of interest has come down so your buying capacity has increased and today everybody realizes that they want larger apartment because if you have three members in the house you need three rooms if you have four members in the house you need four rooms you need a individual room to work to play to spend time because you're all staying at the home at the same time yeah yeah and for larger apartment you need more money and government has already reduced the rate of interest and your savings have given you a lot of contribution for your own money which you have to invest and the rates have become very competitive the builders are charging you at a very very competitive rate though the construction price has gone up by more than 5% 10% cement 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 and steel rates have gone up but in spite of that builders are giving you at a competitive price so i think it is an apt time for a buyer to buy and that's why people are buying i think that again uh, let me let me uh, see if i have understood what you've been saying correctly atul ji one is you're saying that people's own contribution 80% ka home loan mil jata hai lekin jo own contribution hota hai suddenly people have that money in hand because they're not spending it on uh, what you very rightly called wasteful expenditure we just don't need so many clothes uh secondly one is you got more savings secondly rate of interest has gone down and third real estate prices are at their rational best at this moment yes. some very smart people are uh, buying homes right now rapidly they're buying wow I, that that is an important word he because says, if you look at the quarterly figures of all the sales happened all over the country the figures have uh, the sales have gone up by 30 to 40% 
Wow. I mean, you can you can see the data is is available easily yeah, it's on easily the easily available uh, absolutely the, uh, websites. Yeah, it's easily available, and and you're right that people, when you when you uh, look at the figures and the, then your usage of the word rampantly makes sense because yes. people are rampantly buying houses. They're shifting from a rental apartment to their own apartment first, yeah. and secondly, they're going from a larger apartment. Yeah, yeah. So I think this is one of those. Um, paradigm changing times in in history so when yes. when history looks back at us they'll say hey you know what this is that period yes there was a pandemic yes there was a lot of panic and yes terrible things happened but a lot of people made some very smart choices and created assets for a lifetime now this yes. is something atulji i want you to speak with uh, yes. our audiences about because you say this very often that we need to understand and really internalize the difference between an asset and all other classes of instruments in which we spend money invest money on yes so can you spend a little time with us explaining to us the difference no if you give a choice i mean you will be surprised if you have to compare uh, four important things in your life one is the house which you stay second is uh, ornaments gold diamond and third is your car and fourth is your mobile now if you ask somebody a lot of people get confused and they also consider car as an asset yes but if you look at the economic definition of a car it is a consumer item because after 10 years if you want to gift your car to your son will he take it absolutely not he will say i need a latest model yeah. and i need a better version of the car absolutely if you use your mobile for 3 years and you try to gift it to your son will ah, he take it no way you yeah, have on the latest model that means yeah. you consume that model yeah yeah but the same time if you buy an apartment and if you want to gift it to your son will he take it or no definitely 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 and he'll be so proud of you absolutely so what is an asset asset is something which you give it to your family and they can they can they feel nice to receive it Whereas car has been consumed, mobile is consumed, yeah. and gold is a currency. Yeah. If you look at the economic definition of gold, gold is a form of currency. Absolutely. You can exchange gold and buy anything from, on behalf yeah. of the money or currency you pay. Yeah. So it is not an asset. The only asset class or the only asset which remains there is real estate, immovable asset which you can cherish for life. now this i think again very very important distinction for all our listeners some of you are going to be first time home buyers and uh, atul ji speaks in terms of economics let me let me add just a little bit to it there's a difference between asset and a status symbol and that is where i think a lot of confusion happens because of course you want to arrive at uh, at a party in the latest big luxury car sure but that's not an asset that's not an asset it's a status symbol so uh um, so in times like this i think this is the right time to bring your focus on what is an asset when it comes to prioritizing where you must put your money park your money and watch it grow i think this is the time when you must listen to people like 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 atul ji you're getting a lot of free money remember <laughs> and and that free <laughs> money if you're not using it to yeah. buy real estate yeah you know then 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 of course you know yeah, you're not working with logic Mm. so uh, there's this very beautiful campaign that you're running right now which is uh, ghar ho to no dar mm. and uh, i feel this is is the thought behind ghar ho to no dar because atul ji has always said that as long as you have this complete security of an asset that you've built not only you don't never buy a house for yourself you mm. buy a house for for your family you buy a house for your future and if there's one thing the pandemic has taught us it's that ghar ho to no dar however the reason that we called him in for this interaction is one step further atul ji has just told us that you have saved 15 to 20% extra over the last 12 to 14 months government has reduced rate of interest real estate prices are rational so it's not just ghar ho to no dar it is ghar kharidna ho to bhi no dar and uh, would you agree with that i agree completely So that's what we leave you with ghar kharidna ho to bhi no dar thank you so much for your time today sir